So how did you choose me? How did we choose you both? Yeah, am I, am, am I the most feared or what? <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I have with me Professor Schrock, who is a uh, Nobel Prize winner as well as a professor in chemistry at MIT. So Professor Schrock, could you tell us some things that excite you? My father was a woodworker, so I've done woodworking for a while. Oh, I haven't done anything recently, very, very much. But um, yeah, I make things. Two-person couch, chairs, and um, tables like this, so you know, bigger. And, Right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super impressive. Now, if you had a warning label, what would yours say? Reaction may be delayed. There's one. Reaction that's may it. be delayed for okay. one reason or another. <laughs> Maybe, <via laughs> Maybe email, I can't yeah. think fast enough. Or yeah. <laughs> so, if you could enroll in another professor's class who's living, whose would it be and why? I like to listen to music, so I guess I would, I would like to learn more about music. Mm. Is there any particular kind of music you enjoy? You're probably more classical. Stuff, but you know, I enjoy jazz and depends on the mood. Did you meet your wife when you were in graduate school? I did, yeah. And How'd you meet her? 69. At a party in Somerville. Do you remember the first conversation you had with her? Uh, I think the first words were, Would you like to dance or something like that? So, <laughs> and what kind of dance did you do um, back then? That happened to be a, a slow dance, which was fine by me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How would you describe a perfect party if you, if you were to throw one? A perfect party. Maybe when you were 20 and then now, and then the differences. Lots of music, lots of something to drink. Probably had alcohol in it, everybody getting to know each other. Now it's the same sort of thing, except on a more mature level, shall we say. <laughs> so what would you say is your biggest uh, non-academic or academic failure or mistake? Yeah, you know, there's a story. <laughs> One of my colleagues who passed away not too long ago, but he was complaining about another one of my colleagues who's still around, made the biggest mistake ever. Oh no. Instead of 10 to the 27th, it was 10 to the minus 27th. Oh no. A mistake of 54 <laughs> orders of magnitude. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So I guess the last question we have is, um, what wisdom would you impart to maybe someone like myself or other MIT students? Find out what you really like to do regardless of what it is, how much money it makes, and so on, how much it impresses people, and do it, because I think the most successful people, whatever it is, have a passion, so um, you have to find out what that is.